Hello everyone, in this video I will be teaching you how to use Scratch as for a software and how to integrate with Arduino and build a block code to blink LED. What is Scratch as for it? As for it is a Scratch modification that allows for a simple programming of Arduino open source hardware platform. It provides new blocks for managing sensors and actuators connected to Arduino. The main aim of the project is attracting people to the programming world. The goal is also to provide a high-level interface to the Arduino programmers with functionalities such as interacting with a set of ports through user events. In this tutorial video, I'll be covering four steps. Number one, to download and install S4A software. Number two, downloading and installing Arduino IDE software. I've already made a video on installing Arduino IDE software. You can check this out from the link given below. Number three, downloading firmware for Scratch and number four, LED blinking block code. Step 1. Downloading and installing S4 software and firmware for Scratch. Open your favorite browser and search S4A. From the result shown, click S4A and this will take you to the S4A official website. From the web page, click on download tab. Here you can see the procedure to install the S4A and also the installation file for various operating systems. Since I'm using Windows, I'm downloading the setup file for Windows and save the installation file in desired destination. The downloading has started. Since I've already downloaded the file, I'm skipping the complete download of the file. Once the downloading is completed, go to the destination where the file is being downloaded and start extracting the file in the desired destination. Now. Open the S4A EXE setup file and proceed with the installation. Follow the procedure. The installation will take 1 to 2 minutes. Click on finish and the S4A software get launched. Connect your Arduino Nano board. So this is the S4A window. Okay, let's open S4A software. I've already connected my Arduino Nano. You may notice that S4A window shows the searching board notification. For S4A software to detect and communicate with Arduino board, you need a special set of code called firmware to be uploaded in Arduino. To download the firmware, go to the S4A official website. So the next step is to download and install the firmware in your Arduino. To download, uh, you need to click here. Uh, okay, save the file. Once download is done, open the file. And wait for a moment click OK okay the downloading of firmware is done Next, now let's upload the firmware in Arduino in the Arduino window Click tools and go to the board and select the Arduino Nano as per the board you use and again tools and go to the board and choose the board number. After that, upload the firmware to the Arduino. The uploading and the compiling will take some time. Okay, the uploading is done. Now let's check the S4A software whether it is integrated or not. Okay, after uploading of the code, you can see in the S4A window that the software has detected the Arduino board. That means the software and the Arduino board is integrated. Step 2 LED blinking block code. Okay, let's begin with building a block code. Open your S4A software. 
in the S4 window, you can notice that there is no searching board notification. That shows that our S4 software and our Arduino board has successfully integrated. The integration was possible only due to the Scratch firmware and uploading it to the Arduino Nano board. On the top left corner of Scratch window, you can see the different control tabs. Each one of the control tab has its own use and the function. It is similar to that of coding. In this, you just have to drag and drop the block of code and make a logic out of it. Okay, let's get started with the building of block code. In this, I'll be showing you a very simple demo for building a block code that will blink LED of Arduino Nano board. Firstly, let's drag when green flag clicked icon into the script panel. The script panel is where you build your logic by dragging and dropping the control function. So this function icon is actually used to start the main logic uh, by clicking the green flag. Next, let's drag and drop the forever icon or the forever function. This work as a loop. We want our LED to blink forever. Since I'm not using any external LED, so we will be using the built-in LED that is on pin number 13 of Arduino Nano board. So under the motion control tab, let's drag and drop the digital 13 on and place this inside the forever loop. Next, we want our LED to turn off right after one second. So drag and drop wait one second. Next, go to the motion tab and drag and drop the digital 13 off and place it under the forever loop. Now this will turn off the LED. Finally, we want our LED to turn back on right after one second. So let's drag and drop wait one second control function. So this is the complete block code or the complete logic for blinking LED of Arduino Nano board. To run this block code, click on green flag. Since we have used when green flag clicked icon in the logic itself. Let's see. Finally, we can see that our LED has started blinking. We have given one second as the time interval for turning on and off. By clicking this red button, uh, the execution gets stopped. And turning it on. Turning it off.